Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to create a set kind of based around some foils. So here we've got two gel polishes. I've got Kind Salmon and Bopping Apples, both from Adam Glam today. Um, the Bopping Apples, I think I've only used once before. The Kind Salmon, I have, don't think I've used before. So I was kind of trying to pick out some colors to match up with the foil that we'll be using later on, which um, I feel like I did a fairly good job. <laughs> um, so we're going to start off with applying our base colours down. So we will have three of the nude orange kind of colour and the other two are going to be the darker ready orange kind of colour. If you wanted to shop with Madame Glam, I do have a discount code. If you use GlamifyBabe30 underscore one, you can save yourself at 30%. I'll make sure to have all the links down in the description for you, along also with a link to these exact colours as well if you decide you wanted to have a look at them and shop the colors so uh yeah like i said i'm applying my base colors madame glam gel polishes are very good very aff i think they're affordable for what you get really you get a big bottle and the quality of these polishes are absolutely amazing some of these polishes you can literally get away with just one coat which yeah you could even you could even get away with the red of the one coat or even the nude really they're super pigmented and they level out like a little dream. So once I'm happy, I'll pop them into the lamp. I will go ahead and do the second layer off camera and then I'll come back to you guys. You'll be maybe pleased or upset to know that this set actually doesn't have a sugar nail. We do have a very small little hint of glitter in the video later on, but we don't have a full sugar nail, which is a little bit of a change for me. So now that the second layer has been cured, here they are with two layers looking beautiful it's time to apply our mccart transfer foil gel so that's the one i always use it's my all-time favorite it always works for me i actually have never had big issues with transfer foil gels i've kind of picked this one up and ever since then it worked and i've just been using it so i think i have like three bottles stacked up in case i run out of because <laughs> i think they were having a sell at some point so i ended up grabbing a bunch of them so I'm just going to apply this transfer foil gel on the two darker shade of nails. So we're going to pop them into the lamp for 60 seconds. I always like to do 60 seconds and then I like to leave them to cool down in the background, which is why we're going to start working on a different nail. So whilst that nail is cooling off in the background, we can start working on the next nail. So picked up one of the kind salmon nails and I'm going to do a French tip with the uh, bopping apples gel polish color so um, my technique for a French tip as you can see is just kind of eyeballing it and it always seems to work for me it's probably practice made perfect now uh, I am kind of going to look into making a video of a kind of more in-depth one-to-one kind of different techniques of doing French tips because this was a learning curve learning process i started off doing all sorts of different techniques before i got to the point where i am at now so i am looking and keep an eye out in the future for a video like that i will try and make that fairly soon for you all so i'm just going to color it in now with my nail art brush you can use the brush from the bottle but i ended up actually putting way too much of that bobbing apples um color on my little palette I guess <laughs> so I don't want to waste this so I'm just going to pick it up color it in I am going to pop it into the lamp and I do believe I go in with a second coat just because it was slightly sheer I could see the other color kind of peeping through a little bit and I wanted it a bit more opaque so we've done two coats of that now so our nails have been chilling in the background for a very long time so now it's time for the foil so <laughs> as you can see I've kind of used a little bit of this foil already for the set that we are basically making today so I always do a set beforehand um, and if I like it enough I will show you guys and film a video so I'm um, leaving the transfer foil gel nails in the background just let them cool down and it make and it will make your transfer experience so much easier and smoother and really nice so I always use my fingers for transfer I just prefer it that way leaving the nails to cool down in the background just allows me to use fingers I know that some people don't like using fingers or prefer using different tools such as silicone tools and all sorts of different things but I don't I just like to use my fingers and as you can see it always works and we had a very nice smooth transfer which was really nice there we go one now is done i really like those i also really like matte top coating transfer foils so this is probably why also today's set will be matte top coated i just feel like the design pops so much better when it's matte top coated and looks better so here i actually ended up messing up a little bit as you can see in the top right corner there's a little bit missing which we will go ahead and fix up in a moment and you can't really tell as much which is great 
which is great. Um, usually the corners are the worst, so I always try to focus mainly on the corners. The middle seems to kind of work itself out, but of course try and press down across the whole nail until you are happy. And you know, try to slowly start peeling it off, and if at any moment you notice that a little bit of it hasn't transferred, just put it back down and try to retransfer the little bit that didn't transfer. So there we go, I was struggling there a little bit, but there we go, the image transferred and of course that little gap that I managed to put down, so I'm just going to pick out a little image that was kind of the closest to what I ended up missing, and there we go. The nail looks like it was never missing anything. So now that that was transferred, we don't need to put it into the lab, this is just a transferred picture. It is now time to do our top coat. So we are using my Vanillisa matte top coat, we are just going to apply it across all of those nails. Then we are going to pop them into the lamp. I was actually recently refilling my matte top coat bottle. I feel like I've been doing way too many matte top coat sets. And I feel like now that Christmas and like the winter season is just around the corner, I'm probably going to end up doing more and more. It's just that kind of season. So I had to actually recently re retop my bottle. So I have a Vanillisa 30ml like refillable bottle that I use. So I had to refill my little bottle. Um, which is great that I had that hand because otherwise I'd be screaming right now that I couldn't film today's video without having the matte top coat. So like I said, we'll pop them into the lamp and then we can start working on our nail design. So the rest of this nail design is going to be mainly crystal based. Like I mentioned earlier, there will be a very slight little hint of glitter and that will be on the French tip nail. So with the French tip nail, sometimes I like to just leave it as it is. Sometimes I like to kind of put crystals along where the two colours meet and sometimes I decided to do something different but I always kind of like to jazz the French tip nails up otherwise I find that them that I find them a little bit too boring for me so I've got my Glitter Bells Unbelievable Gel which is just a nail art kind of gel that you can use and it cures tack free which is great so what you could do is just leave it like this but I decided to <laughs> of course add a little bit of glitter wherever I can so before curing this I am going to sprinkle on some white kind of glitter and then I'm going to cure it so I'm doing three lines as you can see with this bit you can have them as separated as you want or as close as you want or as thick as you want I kind of wanted it I feel like maybe looking back now maybe they're a bit too far from each other but it is what it is now <laughs> I can't fix it up but it still doesn't look bad which is great so once I'm happy I will sprinkle on some glitter 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 I'm just here fixing it up and the Glitter Bells Unbelievable Gels are amazing to work with. They're so, so nice and easy. And yeah, they're literally, I believe they're literally made from nail art. I think you can use them as a natural polish, but you can't put it on your naked nail. You're going to have to put it on top of something such as acrylic or gel or something else. You can't put it on your natural nail bed, which is fine by me. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have to worry about that. This is our little glitter. If you're an OG, you know I used to sugar every single nail with this glitter. Like every set, this glitter would be featured all the, all the, all the time. So I've now kind of reorganized my glitters recently and I've been kind of picking up other glitters, which is probably... Um, I basically you're just not bored with one glitter which is nice <laughs> so there we go this is what it's looking like I will cure it and now it's time for a little crystal placement ideas so we've got this beautiful bow we've got this little charm that I thought was so gorgeous when I saw it I just had to somehow incorporate it into the set so we are going to start off with I think our main like the big crystal placement so I'm going to put some of my rhinestone glue gel from McCart down the center of the nail that's kind of like how I like to start off and if any moment I decide I want to bran branch out from the centre slightly more to the right or the left, I then add more rhinestone glue gel. I'm going to start off with placing this beautiful little, I'm not sure what they're called, but it's got this little white reflection colour to it. And it's just really pretty, it's not a it's not a crystal, I don't really know what they are called, but if you know, let me know in the comments, I'd love to know because I've been using them quite often recently, so it'd be nice to actually know what they're called and how to describe them in my videos. Then we will place this beautiful gold heart little charm, which is beautiful. I'm pretty sure I ended up um, quickly curing it just because it was moving about too much. So there it is, all nice and back, and then at the bottom, I think I put a caviar bead, yes I did, and then I also popped a caviar bead right at the top of the nail too. So with this bit, since we've already matte top coated, you want to be very careful placing the rhinestone glue gel so you don't over, basically over place it. And then um, once you cure it, it will be shiny, which is not what you want. So that's one nail done. We've got one more nail to 
go and with this nail it's super simple um, I just felt like because I didn't have my full sugar nail I felt like something was missing I needed a bit more something in my face something more sparkly or something going on so for the last kind salmon nail that we've got I'm just going to do a simple crystal placement right in the corner of the nail so we're going to pick up those white little crystal -y things again so we're going to start off with placing a fairly chunky big AB crystal on the left hand side corner which is this one here and then followed by the two little I don't know what they are charms as well um they're not a rhinestone <laughs> I'm not quite sure what they are so we're going to place those and then after that we're going to place a very small AB crystal after those and then we're going to top it off with placing some caviar beads in between all these crystals and right at the end of the last AB crystal that we're placing so I'll let you guys watch this little bit now and then I'll come back to you guys once this nail is all nice and done Alright, so I'm finishing up now. There's a little gap at the top where you can see the nail, but I quite like that for some reason. So I decided to leave it like that and yeah, I'm quite happy with it. So we'll pop it into the lamp and here are the final results. So I hope you guys liked it. I absolutely love how this one came out. It's a little bit subtle, a little bit delicate, not too much like I usually do it. Um, so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.